Hello, everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw day 27 of March of Robots. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, sketches first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the sketch portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out with the gray Copic marker, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Quick sketch. I don't even know what I'm doing with this one. I'll be honest with you. I'm tired. Uh, I'm, ch I'm charging through because we're, we're at the end. We're right at the very end. And I'm trying to get through this because this has been a, it's, it's tough to do this and draw at the same time. But I'm, I'm fighting through. We're, we're all going to get through this, right? The other problem is my Sharpie is dying. <laughs> and I'm trying to... Uh, charge through I'm trying to say look we, we got this let's let's just fight it through um, let's not give up right I don't know what I'm doing here I'm just kind of making up like what if it's got like no we're gonna draw we're gonna draw the fighting stance again that's what I always do um, let's do some skin thinny leg some skin thin skinny legs I've been doing big, fat, robotic power legs and stuff like that. I'm going to do some kind of strange, you know, who knows what's what on this thing. Right? Um, but just to, just to make up something. But my Sharpie is dying. It didn't last. Copic, you didn't do it. You didn't make it through. At 27, not even 27. I barely got through on this. And look at this. This is where this is what you did to me, Copic. This is where you left me. Fighting for fighting for ink. All right. Uh, uh, you know, it's just it's eight dollars. Eight dollars for this thing is what it cost me. And it's that's just that's a lot of money for barely 27 drawings, right? We don't all have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. I don't have money to spend $8 on 27 drawings and that's it. You know, we you just you gotta look out for us, Copic. You gotta look out for you. You expect us to use your stuff? Talk to me. Get a better, you know what? No, don't even talk to me. It's not even about sponsorship. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, you know, uh, better product, right? It's funny, I say I'm going for skinny legs and then I can't do it. Then I'm like, no, 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 that's too thin. I gotta, I gotta add some power to it, right? How's it gonna be holding himself up? Okay, so for the front, let's see, we're gonna do something out like this. I want like this bizarre, like X face type kind of thing, right? But I want him, like I said, in a fighting stance, like he's 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 hunched over for some reason. Right? Or maybe he's not even hunched over. It's just that's how that's how he was designed. Like it looks like he's hunched over, but all the power is up in the top half, right? Let's see. So I always do ribs. I do like that. So what if we do like? Um, I don't know, I'm just drawing shapes just to see what happens. I'm still making ribs. I think I'm just hungry. Okay, let's just go with that. Let's go with that. Uh, I, I'm overthinking it. I'm just, I'm angry about this. I've had no sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> 
But enough complaining. Let's go. Let's get going. Let's welcome everybody that skipped and get going. All right. Welcome skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. Okay, I didn't erase. I just drew light enough that you can see what we're going to do. And if you want to see more creative creatures, check out that playlist right there. I'm sorry. If you want to see more March of Robots, my brain is shutting down. I'm, I'm, we're at the end of this and my brain is shutting down. If you want to see more March of Robots, check out that playlist. If not, check out the playlist anyway, because I do so many different things that I probably already drew you're looking for. So let's just get drawing. Let's, get, let's just draw. I'm going to stop talking and draw. I'm going to stop talking and draw because we're almost through this. We're almost at the end of the journey, right? Let's just keep going, keep going. All right. Uh, some kind of strange X creation here. Don't know why. I just, I just want to do it. I want to make something crazy. Some kind of some kind of something. Am I shaking the whole camera? I just think I'm leaning too far into it. Like I said, I'm, I'm, my brain is, my brain is seeing the finish line. That's what it is. I need to stop doing that. I need to concentrate where am I, where I am, the here and the now, and not worry about the end. Again, I don't know what it is. We're just making it just to see where it goes. Okay, I'm gonna come up here like this for the back. And what's funny in my sketch is this is not what I did at all. I did like a, a very triangular looking head, but I forgot. I didn't look over at the initial thumbnail sketch and this is what came out, so. You know, good good for me for trying something different. That's what I'm just gonna say. I'm gonna pat myself on the back and say, good for you. Good for you for not following directions. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, we're gonna bring this down. Make some kind of, almost like a, not a breathing apparatus, but some kind of uh, cylindrical something. Right, I, I'm just I'm just a big fan of drawing the shapes, and then coming back and adding stuff and seeing seeing where it took me. I like that. Okay, so that's the head, and yeah, let's add some kind of like almost like a grate type kind of thing, like a vent. You know, something like that. Just something a little different. Probably be putting too much detail into the face right there. Because um, it's just going to be all painted anyway, right? Um, okay, so for his back, I've got him kind of hunched over. But I think the way I did it, I kind of thought it's like, what if, if he was in a fighting stance, he brought the head down. So, like, it comes down on this little channel, right? Like when he's standing, it can go up, right? So we're gonna say that's what this is. That's his little fighting stance channel that he lowers his head on. So that's kind of the idea I was going for with this. I, I mean, I was, but also I i wasn't. Like in other words, what I'm saying is that's what I'm gonna convince myself that I was trying to do. Like talk myself into like saying, yeah, that's what you wanted. That's what you're trying to do, right? And I did what I didn't want to do was draw with nothing but uh, 
big thick lines. I don't like doing that. It doesn't break it up enough, you know? So when I do stuff like that, you know what's done is done. I'm just gonna keep drawing. I, I'm just, I'm tired and I don't even want to do this, but I'm here. I showed up and that's the important part. That's what I'm very proud of, that I, I'm doing the work. All right, so we're gonna say, let's draw this one too, so I can make sure that I get consistency with whatever I'm gonna do here. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just making up something. I, I hate to say it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and admit it. I am I am really phoning it in right now. I am just here, just going through the motions, just trying to make some kind of robotic something. And it's a shame because I wanna put more into it. I wanna put my all into it, but I also wanna be honest with you and tell you when it's it's just me just creating just to create. Like I'm not, I'm not even trying to make a unique hand, you know? I did with the face, I was like, ooh, let's try something different like that. But like I said, my brain is shutting down. I don't wanna be here, I want to, I want to be in bed. I've had no sleep. But again, I wanna be honest with you. I want you to know that it, it, all of us go through that. All of us have a rut, all of us have depression. All of us get sad. All of us go through these things. So don't ever feel bad like, you know, like you're alone. If you want to talk to someone, talk to someone. But don't ever feel like you, you can't or that you're all alone in this journey. Because that's why I'm being honest with you. That's why I'm telling you how I feel right now. And I don't want you to feel bad for me. I don't want you to feel sad that, that, uh, that this is tough. I'm just being honest that we all go through tough times. And sometimes you will too. And... I'm just saying I feel bad because I want to perform for you or I want to give you something to draw. I just wish I was operating at 100% to give you 100% to draw. But again, I'm here. I'm here for you. We're doing it, right? So what I'm doing here is this hand is out like that. This one is more pointed at you like this. So the nub, the fingers look a little stubby, a little, a little foreshortened um, to uh, show that uh, they're more pointed at you than sticking straight out. Okay. Welcome to, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now that looks like a little, uh, um, a little bit of a mess. I see what I was doing there, but when I look back at it, I was like, wow, that's just a bunch of crazy lines in there. But what I was doing is all that, like the inner part of the palm, how movable it is, that's all the mechanics of the hand there that uh, I made just to make it movable. All right. You know the best part about this? Like I said, when you, when you don't want to be here, when you're when you're tired and you're just, you know, you, you got to finish. You're, you're, you're working in survival mode is what that's called. You're just running along just to finish up the race, right? That's the best part is when you get to the end of the race. When you get to the end of, I did it. I got through. We're at the end. That's, oh man, that's the, and I'm getting closer. As we're getting with the top half, I'm getting closer. I can feel that. And man, does it feel good. Does it feel good as you get to the, the part you didn't want to do that's coming through and showing off at the end, right? Um, 
I don't know what I did here. I just kind of made up something. So let's see if I can kind of recreate it over here. Well, let's say if that's the center of his body, then I'm gonna do like, I don't know what I was thinking. I just kind of did something like that. And we're gonna say this part's over here, but let's do like this. I'm thinking almost like an engine. That's kind of the idea I'm playing with right here. Like it's got, uh, um, what do you call it? Um, the head gasket part, right? That's kind of what I was playing around with. Like maybe that's what this is right there. That's the, the part of the engine that, uh, that works with the gaskets. And not that he needs an engine, you know, it's all robotic parts, but I'm just kind of talking to myself of, well, yeah, that's that's kind of, that'll fit. If I do that, that'll fit, and that'll make sense as to why it's going through there and what that is and and uh, that kind of thing, okay? So I kind of want to do the same thing over here. So that means I'm going to do like this. And you're going to see the top half here. Here you're seeing that end. This one is kind of covered up, so you're not seeing as much because of the angle. Again, that's what I'm convincing myself of <laughs> to help me get through these drawings. All right, again, you can only see so much of it, so that's why I'm just showing you that much, right? And let's also do like a little, little bit of cables, a little bit of carburetor cables. I kind of want to do one back here like this. Hopefully it's not too messy. Because after a while, it's like, well, that's too many. That's too many. You need to dial it back a little bit, you know? Here's what's going on inside here, like behind these cables and whatnot. But again, some of this you can't even see anyway, so I don't really want to get too crazy here. Um, we will say, since there's cables over here, I'll draw this just to kind of show that yeah it's on both sides you just can't see everything because of the angle that he's at okay so for his front i've been playing around with like this y ear type kind of configuration for uh um heads and i guess pelvis too just to kind of come up with some kind of something different right almost like a a giant belt buckle you know that so let's recreate it over here ow i just stubbed my toe i just stubbed my toe then it really hurt yeah i just stubbed my toe okay there's a song playing so i shouldn't be singing over it all right so something like that and then uh we'll just do like that that's his belt buckle okay and let me let me try to define it a little bit with uh, robot parts. Ooh, that wasn't supposed to happen, but I like that. That kind of mixed it up. So I'm gonna bring it down here, do the same thing. Yeah, that made it different. Again, just kind of changing, changing up what we, I thought we were gonna do. We're uh, um, getting creative even though it was an accident. Sometimes, you know, that's that's how it goes. All right, so for the his his um, midsection, let's just do this. Like, we don't know what all that is, okay? So I'm either gonna color that in black or I'm just gonna kind of come in and do like that, like, like that's, again, there's a lot of stuff that's back behind the top stuff and we can't define it all and we don't really need to because a lot of it's going to be black anyway. You know, the way I color stuff in that's way in the background. So I don't have to worry too much about, well, why is that? You know, it's just the inside stuff. Okay. So for his hips, let's do this. Little, little pelvic uh, pivot points. And again, there's only so much we're gonna be able to see. So I'm not too worried about detail, right? 
And um, from here, let's see. Oh yeah, 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 I said I wasn't gonna do much for the legs. I was gonna keep it simple because I've been doing general legs. So I'm gonna keep it super simple for the legs and say that these are his knees. Come down here. Say that's that knee. There's the little cylindrical um, pivot point, right? And again, we don't have to define everything. I can make it that simple, like he's got shorts on, right? Let's do that. Let's just finish up the legs by drawing, um, what do you call it, uh, like femurs and, and bones like that, just simple, just, uh, what do you call it, um, simple legs, right? We're going to keep him super simple. I'm even going to keep it simple with the feet. I'm just going to come down here, do this. Then I'm even going to add just a little bit for the um, small Sharpie, just, again, just to break it up so it's not just thick lines, right? I want to do a little something. That simple. There you go. So I say we take care of the rest with color. That is day 27 of March of Robots. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.